Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Let's get it going. How are you doing? Welcome back to another video on the David Hammond YouTube channel, the most based masculine men's channel in these end days. I'm willing to be unapologetic, give you guys the truth, whether you agree with me or not, whether you get offended or not, that is not my concern because I love you so much that I must hand you the baton before the lights go off, guys, before we die. And if I don't give it to you because it may temporarily rough your feathers, then what man am I knowing I had the antidote, but I didn't give it to you because because your toes temporarily got stepped on. Same with myself, with men above me handing me the baton. Yes, it may temporarily offend me. You know what? If they truly love me like a good father does, just like the Lord who chastened those that he loves, he will do so in the pursuit of love, truth, and an ability to move forward. Anyways, guys, welcome back. We're catching the last little bit of sunlight here, guys. Um, I believe I'm trying to go daily on this channel. I'd really like to, guys. I have a lot of wisdom I've gained over these past really few years through following Christ, entering the sanctification process, Hero's Call to Adventure. And I have a, I have a lot of you men, uh, both young and older, going through this, waking up, becoming born again, finding the light of Christ, as I believe we are in these end days, and he's pouring out his spirit upon all creation. People are waking up, so you guys just need that that mentor who's been there who's gone through that that struggle period with really um you know not not a, not a bunch of guidance well of course we have the holy spirit guys but who can offer you now this um more concrete just assurance i got you all right so let's begin in today's video guys this one's a little bit deeper but again like i said i don't really care if this offends you guys today's video i titled it your family should hate you now, amen, this is true. Um, I believe, guys, this is gonna kind of tie into my last video where I spoke of, I said, real men don't have friends. And I know it's a clickbaity title, but go watch the video for context because your mission must come first, guys, right? We have comrades, we have brothers who are further serving their mission, but friends who just hold us back. I mean, that's what we did when we were kids, guys. That's in Corinthians. When I was a child, I spoke as a child and played with childish things. But once I became a man, I put those down and something along the lines of, Played with net man things, right? That's in Corinthians. You guys can uh, search up the verse. But um, there will be times, guys, in your sanctification process, in your walk with Christ. And by the way, excuse my tired eyes. Woke up from a nap too not long ago. Hence the coffee. There will be times in your sanctification process, your walk with Christ, your entrepreneurship journey, your self-development journey, which really, guys, I don't mean that in a secular like Hamza, Andrew Tate way. I mean, no, you're for following... You're following, fulfilling your mission given to you by God to wake up other individuals, to evangelize the world, to step on snakes and scorpions. And in that process, my friends, your family will hate you. Now, there's an amazing verse in the Bible. I believe it's in Matthew chapter 10. I want to say 1034 or just around there where Jesus says, you know what? Let me give you guys, let me give you actually the exact verse. There we go. Okay, I was right. Yeah, so it's, it's around the same thing. Ma man, Matthew chapter 10, verses like 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, they're really scary, like scary in a good way. Uh, but this one goes, ready? This is Jesus speaking. But he who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me, again, is not worthy of me, right? Let's, re let's read the next verse. Right? And this is the good one, Matthew 10, 38. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. For he who finds his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake will find it. And it continues to go on, right? Even the verses before are really scary, but essentially it goes, guys, if you love your own life, if you love your own family, if you love your own friends, if you love the things of this world more than Christ, more than the mission that he is giving you, you are not worthy of him. For he says to pick up our cross, right? To then follow him. That's, al that's also Mark 8, 34, to deny ourselves, guys. And I gotta be brutally honest with you. A lot of you, a lot of you, see, here's kind of like nicer, David. A lot of you have this anointing. A lot of you have this calling, but you are willfully giving it up because you care more about what your mommy thinks. Let that sink in. And I'm talking to a lot of you. You care more about what your dad thinks of you. You care more about what your friends think of you than what God thinks of you. You are not worthy of following Christ. You are not worthy of being one of his disciples. My friends, go read those verses. Matthew chapter 10, go read all of them. Matthew chapter 10, starting in verse 30, all the way down to, uh, to around 37, 38, 39. 
This is the path, guys. Now, just as a bit of story time for myself. Now, my relationship with my mother, ironically, has actually never been better. There's never been more respect, more trust, more authority that I have, more she knows that I'm gonna fulfill what I need to do. And that's, especially with women, right? Mothers, daughters, whatever, they need that, right? Now, I don't have a father. My dad died when I was young, but I can, I can guess and assume it'd be more or less the same. My mother now knows I'm a man of my word. And even if it's scary, even if she doesn't want me to do it, even if my family is against me, I willfully choose Christ over them. And now that may sound really harsh. That may sound David. <laughs> That's like, wake up. Come on, man. Like you saying, just abandon your family. It's not what I'm saying, guys. But if I were to listen, right, just a bit of story time. When I first started my own ministry, street preaching about almost a year ago now, I started my own ministry, like Christ developed this ministry officially in January. So 2024, we're now in April. So not too long ago, guys. And I started, you know, my own street preaching and my family, it was actually a bit before that because I was with my church. My family was not on board, guys. They were not on board with this me not following Christ. Even before that, joining this church, street preaching, and, and rightfully so. Here I am, like, making these very, you know, outlandish claims out on a megaphone. It's not the most popular thing to do. And I had to assure them time and time again, because I've, I've been in this situation many times, especially to my mom, right? Because she's, you know, we have to respect our parents. I said, Mom, you just got to trust me. You just got to let me go. I'm going to be all right. Trust me on this. And it was rough for quite a few months because the ministry hadn't, you know, hadn't taken off yet. I didn't really know exactly. I was still kind of learning. I was still a little rusty, right? Like the car wasn't at a hundred kilometers an hour driving smoothly on the highway. It was still, you know, a little chinkity. It was like getting up to speed, right? A little, I was like ironing out the kinks. Right now, we're fast forward. We have the ministry where I go to these universities. I, I debate. The channel's taking off. My mom watches the videos now. She Even if she's not like <laughs> like the most you know, on board, she, there is so much more respect and, and, and support than there was before. And where I'm going with this, my friends, is you may not, you may not have the luxury of your parents getting on board. And my mom may get off board again as I go deeper. But I will tell you this, my friends, this is Matthew 10, 33, that if you deny me, this is Christ, you deny me before man, and that can mean woman, your mother, friends, anyone, you deny me before man, I will deny you before my father. You make this choice now. Are you going to fulfill this mission? Are you going to stand boldly in what God's calling you to do? Or are you going to cower and care more about what man thinks than what your heavenly father thinks? Every man must make this decision. Every man will be faced with this decision time and time again. I am not exempt. It is not easy for me. I'm not saying it's going to be easy for you. But as someone who has done it, who has surpassed that and now obtained the fruit, I'm seeing many of these things come full circle. Now I'm getting applauded by like so many people with the ministry and this and that. And let me come shoot for you, David. Let me come whatever. Where were all you guys back when I was by myself? There were none. But I willfully at the time had to choose God time and time and time and time and time and time and time again until man eventually then applauds you. Jesus was crucified for saving all humanity and then what? Became king three days later. You must go through this humiliation ritual. You must go through this initiation process. Who, choose this day in whom you will serve. Amen. For my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Amen, guys. So that's really it. To what I titled this video, your family will hate you. And hopefully it's not going to be forever, but there will be times and you better expect it and embrace it. Wear it openly on your chest. If you guys are walking through life as a Christ follower, all walking on tulips, honky dory, life is smooth cake. You know, you always got the applause, always got the support. My friends, you're probably not following the real Christ. You're probably just a lukewarm Christian who's making your family happy. But as Christ followers, not just Christians, but Christ followers, you will step on toes. You will ruffle feathers for broad is the path that leads to destruction. Many are on it, but narrow is the path that leads to life and few will find it. Choose this day in whom you will serve, my friends, and I'll finish it there. God bless, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Again, excuse my tired Asian eyes. Not that you care. I'm juggling a lot right now, guys, but I'm a full send this for the kingdom and grow this channel massively. I don't care what comes my way. Thank you. Have an amazing day. Coaching is always below if you guys are serious and want to work with me closer, and I'll finish it there. God bless.
Follow Christ. Peace.